Good morning, everybody. So, I wanted to talk about this, like, uh, I wanted to talk about, uh, I cracked the narcissist code part two, because it's kind of like, I wanted to talk a little bit more about this just for a few minutes, but when the narcissist, I was talking about, you know, if when our first uh, instincts of thinking when we grow up and we're as little children we're just doing as we're told but at some point you start to like, what is your first thought your first thought comes from out of emotions and feelings so you have an emotion uh, and emotions are occurring right but then it then you start to have feelings from those emotions so you have like a vibe that's going on and then you start to assess how you're feeling right and it could be good, it could be bad, but it's going to, what it's going to do is eventually spark the brain to think, you know? And so, when you process those emotions, and it could come, you know, I don't know when it comes. It, it comes for different people at different times, that's my point. And some, it never comes, and that's my point. Because they refuse to process their, they, the, the emotions come, the feelings come, but then they reject the processing of them. And because you reject the processing of them, you become very confused and you become emotionless. Or, and you tend to go to the negative instincts of emotions, which is gonna be lack, fear, and anxiety and depression and lack of things, right? So then you start to think about stealing or how could I get over on people? How could I lie? How could I cheat? You know, basically what we'd call today, you know, kind of like a, what, a lot of times there's a hack, you know, what's the hack, you know? What's the easy way out? What's the easy button? Well, that's what they start thinking, but not really thinking that way. Actually, they're thinking like, well, I have to just survive. This is the, the best way I can survive. But this is the thing, you get feeling, you get feelings and then they turn into emotions. So you get like a vibe of what's going on. Then it, it starts to turn into, well, you know, the feelings, you know, you're feeling bad or feeling good or whatever. And you gotta process those emotions. So if, when you process those emotions, it gives you truth, right? Because truth uh, is basically understanding right and wrong. So if you, when you process your emotions for the first time is what sparks your brain to think and it gives you your individuality and takes you outside the matrix. You know, those people you're always saying, they're just walking around, you know, they work all day and then on the weekends they just, you know, eat and lay on the couch and go shopping for a new outfit. And then they just go do work again or something. Even if they go to church, they're just like zombies. And for us that aren't zombies and uh, for us that aren't zombies, we're, that's because in my opinion, we woke up emotionally and we processed our thoughts. Maybe we didn't like all of our thoughts, but we still went down the road of trying to understand us and them and everybody, right? But it sparks the brain to give you individuality because that's what gets you thinking. So you can learn all day long. You can learn about sports, you can learn a new job, you can learn a career, you can go to school, you can be brainwashed into you know your history, your modern day history and your modern day science and your modern day space and all of this. And you can get a new degree, you can learn five languages, you can become an athlete, whatever. But that doesn't give, give you individuality, I mean meaning understanding. That's not really understanding. That's just, that's just, uh, you know, creating or, or doing something that you enjoy to do maybe, or that you have to do in this life. But it doesn't, it doesn't give you individuality. It doesn't make you understand yourself at all. That's my point. Those are just distractions. They're just really big distractions, but I mean, we have to do them. But my point is, is they don't process their thoughts because they refuse to process their thoughts, right? They're always throwing their, their emotions on people so that they don't, have they never processed their emotions i mean so they're just throwing their emotions all over the place and you know they're very uh quick to fly off the handle because they are ultra sensitive because they have they have pride as backing up for their fear 
that has caused them to reject processing their emotions because they can't handle it. And this started in young childhood. So then they built the mask, right? They build the mask and then they become a hollow shell of themselves because what they're doing now is they're just putting the mask on as a young child and they're just, um, they're just deciding that they're just going to do whatever they're told and, and uh, for their parents, they wanna make their parents very happy in whichever way they can. They're just gonna keep adjusting the mask until their parents are happy with them, okay? And when their parents are happy with them, they're gonna keep molding that mask the best way they know how to be the best individual for their parents. But that's not who they are authentically acting as, or, or being, being. It's not acting, it's being. They're not being anything, they're acting everything out. And they'll just change the mask up and they'll keep adjusting the mask, adjust the mask, and that's what they do for you. That's what they do for everybody. They just go to somebody with an initial mask, right? They probably have a generic mask and they have it somewhat molded the best way they can to what their understanding is. Although, you know, the, you know, and they have dark energy with them because when all you do is you ride on a dark vibration, meaning there is no love, there is no empathy, there is nothing in there good because you're running on a complete negative construct. That's why they call it fright or flight. But when you get into it a little deeper, it is actually the beast system, like the mark of the beast, in my humble opinion because you're thinking like a beast, an animal. You're not thinking like humanity. Humanity has to have certain attributes that make them humanity. You don't just become humanity because you look like humanity. And I mean, you become humanity by the way that you are in your being. And so they never process anything. And this is my point. My point is, is you can't really get them help because I think what happened is, is when they quit processing their emotions and their feelings, where they never did, they never became an individual person. So they really, at this point, may not even know how to process them. And that's how that their mind and their heart can get seared, like it says in the Bibles, because, you know, if you don't use it, it's it's not, it's, it's like you lose it for real. So if you're not using, say, for instance, whatever it is in your mind to process your thoughts and your emotions, okay, then what's going to happen is it's going to have lack of blood flow. It's going to have, um, it's not going to have, uh, you know, muscle mass, even in your brain, even in your mind or whatever. It's going to be, um, you know, it's, what do we call it? In, in, in hospitalization, they have a term for it where it's just like flaccid. It's not moving at all. I mean, it's like uh, yeah, the muscles there, but it has no control because you don't have any control over it. It ends up becoming weaker and weaker. And, and you know, then it starts to kind of like lose its um, original uh, look and, and elasticity and everything else. It starts to get rigid and everything. And then you can't use it at all. And so that's how they get if they're not going to process their emotions in the fields of their brain that they refuse to process since childhood they're going to be lack of blood flow and it's going to have you know lack of musculature it's going to start to degrade and because of that my point is is because they don't process those thoughts and emotions and they end up not even not only just being a hollow person or of themselves and then they're putting on the mask to make them more hollow and they have to look for everything on the outside because what makes you an individual is a person that can process emotions and so that's why they're known for having the logic but no common sense because artificial intelligence uses logic but they don't artificial intelligence does not use common sense who uses common sense humanity Everything that the narcissist is, is fake. They're fake and they're artificial. And that's how God has let them be to us so that we have more and more signs that he is telling you that it's fake and artificial is always evil. Okay. It's like, um, you know, you could have 
the weather by God is good, but you know, when man gets involved in it, they, they get tornadoes and hurricanes and they're controlling it and seeding it. Then we have droughts and then we have floods and then we have earthquakes and all kinds of stuff, right? Um, but anything man gets involved in or the fallen ones, which would be the dark energy, it's gonna be evil. My point though is, is they can't really, they get so dark is because they refuse to go through those emotions. And because they refuse to go through those emotions, I think that's because they refuse to forgive. And, you know, it, it could be really hurtful stuff. And I'm not saying it's not that whatever, if they did deal with trauma, the trauma that they went through, okay? But my point is, is if you have unprocessed emotions, okay? then it's gonna be unprocessed hate, unprocessed anger, unprocessed, you know, stuff where you have to let it go and forgive. And see, that's where the pride builds, okay? In my opinion, it started from whatever hurt them. It it caused fear, but then the it, it built up pride and ego, which is pride, to block it. But that in itself is to say, I will not forgive anybody or let it go or give it to God or lay it down at the cross for the things that I have endured. I refuse to, I will never. And in that, that defiance is, um, is rebellion towards God. And I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to be like rude or, or, or disheartened towards the narcissist because I want to help the narcissist. I want to help anybody that I can, you know, if there's a possibility of helping them. I'm not going to try to help somebody who doesn't want to get help for themselves, but I'm saying like there may be a model that could help them down the road. So I'm just saying I am always in search of it. I'm always in search of how it happened not how they tell us it happened. Because you know, psychologists and psychotherapists cannot talk on the spiritual side of things. Did you know that? It's not allowed. I think they can lose their license for that. So you got people that are psychotherapists, psychologists, and they're dealing with the brain and the mind and, and stuff that has, this is where you get metaphysical and spiritual, and they're not allowed to talk about anything spiritual. Now, to some degree, I kind of get it. and some degree, I kind of don't. I mean, it's kind of, uh, you know, kind of when you look at it from a, a logical and and uh, a, uh, you know, logical and a common sense point of view, it can be really dumb to, to think that you're not ever going to go spiritual on something that's a psychological or personality disorder. Um, but I understand that there's all different sects of religions and different denominations and things. So I do I do get it from that standpoint, but I, I'm saying like, uh, this is a spiritual and a psychological issue all combined into one. And, and a lot of it, in my humble opinion, from the years and years and years I've experienced this and seen things that it is spiritual. People a lot of times get hijacked spiritually first before they get hijacked in anything else physical. It starts in the spiritual realm. People that know about spiritual things and things of the word know that anything that happens in the physical realm starts in the spiritual realm first. It always does. Before a person uh, uh, causes, you know, a, a crime, they know they're going to do it. <laughs> Before they physically do it, it was in their mind done already. But that's just, you know, one thing I'm saying, like when you have, you know, wars and things, there's things going on in the spirit. When you have, you know, things going on with the weather, there's things going on in the spirit. When you have things going on with people that are acting up and acting, you know, you know, to some degree with some of these situations, it's because there's originally and initially something going on in the spirit first. Anyway, you can give me a like, a thumbs up. And a subscription. Love y'all. Peace. We out.